Well, good afternoon and welcome to another virtual tour by Goldacre Estates. Today we're in the absolutely gorgeous, charming village of Villa Verde, literally just 10 kilometers outside of the coastal uh, resort of Coral Echo, very well known in the north, of course, and the North Shore. Access to local beaches, uh, literally a 10 minute drive away. Also, Laharis, beautiful coffee shop, restaurants, uh, and El Cotillo beaches as well. And in Villa Verde, you do have the gorgeous church, and there are some very, very well-known and very highly uh, reputable restaurants here in Villa Verde. Now, today we're here to show you an absolutely gorgeous villa, a home, if you like. It's a three-bedroom, two-bathroom uh, property here on its own plot of just over a thousand square meters. You can see behind me beautiful, mature, tropical gardens, loads of yucca trees there, look. Also a lot of palm trees here. And the villa itself, literally just behind me there. Absolutely gorgeous, as I say. And yes, with your own swimming pool here. Completely surrounded here with artificial grass. Very, very easy to maintain. In fact, this whole back garden has a whole layer of grass there. So access to really usable areas here. And yes, that was a hot tub just behind me there as well. Now, all the, pro all the details, sorry, are actually on goldacreestates.com and of course our mobile property app. So be sure to download that now onto your mobile phone using the QR code I'm just about to post. And then I can get you around outside and show you inside this beautiful villa now for sale. Well, just before we go inside the villa, I thought I'd just show you one of the countryside lanes here that take you to this property. You'll notice there is a driveway, beautiful natural stone cobbling, I'd have to say here, plenty of space for two or three cars here. And that is actually the villa just there look absolutely gorgeous. Your neighbours to the left hand side again staggered in terms of the positioning very quiet here as you can imagine and front garden as well. Just coming into the front garden step in and look at this absolutely beautiful very very lush mature tropical gardens throughout here really just a beautiful theme all the way through in terms of the gardening. I'm just going to walk you through some of this large scale gra gravel, if you like, here on the floor, evergreens, loads of yuccas actually in bloom at the moment, and banana trees as well. Just coming through this front garden actually and just around the corner here there's actually a really lovely little private nook here a little bench seat where you can sit in the mornings and just enjoy you know the sunshine maybe a cup of coffee while you're sat in this gorgeous garden under the trees you'll notice that just around the whole of the property it's actually a glass fencing here and a walkway tiled all the way around that leads you actually to the rear garden this is the front entrance, get a bit of view of the house in a moment. And then just coming around this corner here really leads you in through this garden path look into this absolutely beautiful garden. You'll notice here, this is also artificial grass. And that really just keeps maintenance costs down. Very, very easy to look after this garden. Look at these beautiful palm trees here. Just coming through around the back of the garden. Again, loads of succulents growing here. And there are, for those of you who appreciate it, two wooden houses there for storage. And at the back here, look, lovely stone walling. Now you get to really feel the outside and the layout of the whole of the garden and the property. Just up here, you'll notice some very tall and mature palms as well. I thought it's just worth walking through this garden. Plenty of little garden sculptures as you come through, look. Very neat and tidy having this artificial grass, I have to say, and yet you've still got all of the natural plants. And then just coming around this corner and back to the pool area where we were earlier on, again, just a lovely backdrop look these tall trees here and coming to the property itself. It's so peaceful and quiet around the back garden here. This is an absolutely ideal spot for entertaining friends and family, barbecue for example, and this is the perfect pool to do it. 
It's actually an octagonal pool look. It's actually a raised above ground pool and this is all decking covered in this artificial grass here. Around the side you'll notice apart from the heater for the heated pool is a hot tub jacuzzi. Again various programs there for the jets and it's just a lovely little spot to sit out and watch the stars right by the pool. And then just behind me here coming through these dry stone walls if you like is this lovely terrace, patio terrace. Again, a nice little spot here, look, to sit out in the morning, I'd say. Plenty of trees here as well, and one of the entrances then to the house itself. Well, let's get you inside then. It's a beautiful property, as you can see here. Loads of natural stone cladding along the outside. The roof lines are beautiful here as well, fully tiled. This is the main entrance doorway, as you can see, they've actually glassed it in to create an external portico. Again, that is tiled as well. Loads of natural granite stone here on the outside. And you notice, of course, all of the windows then are uh, sh with shutters, the aluminium shutters. Main entrance as you come in, again, just a really lovely main portico entrance here. Just means you can actually leave the front door open if you want that extra ventilation. And then you're into the hallway. Now it's got an open plan hallway. Downstairs we have most of the accommodation here. The stairs leading up to the master bedroom. Quite a traditional Spanish style of tile that leads all the way up. And just walking through then, through the arch to the main lounge. This is a beautiful sunken lounge, only two steps down to the lounge and dining room area. On the left hand side, this is actually reserved, really would make a lovely dining area inside. This is actually a fixed glass wall. Again, it's just giving you all that natural light and views out to the garden. And then you've got a very, very comfortable TV and sofa area just here, look. Again, there are windows looking out always to the garden. And you'll notice that lovely stone cladding there as well on this internal wall, plus the fireplace. I doubt you'll ever get to use that, to be perfectly honest but it's a lovely feature. Now, before I take you outside, let me just get you into the kitchen again. Completely separate kitchen. This is absolutely gorgeous here. This is actually a silver stone, solid stone with silver fleck. Again, it's quite a modern style of kitchen. High gloss white cabinetry, plenty of storage. Tower oven, microwave, hob extractor, of course, and again, a lovely sink area here with those drainage grooves just cut into the stone. Views are straight out to the garden. On the right hand side is a double fridge freezer. Loads of space here I would say and then coming into a utility room. Now this is really quite lovely as well because they've used a the silicone finish on this worktop surface. There is a washing machine dryer here as well and boiler so plenty of space there and that door there on the right would lead you back out to the gardens as well. Just leaving the kitchen and going outside now. One of the most beautiful and useful spaces of these properties here and this one in particular is this outdoor covered area. Now this would have been initially a terrace area. You can see here the concrete covering is actually part of where there is an external barbecue with chimney. In this case, I've actually put an electric heater there and there's actually, look, an outdoor kitchen with a sink area. Following that, wooden pergola, tongue and groove has created this really open space here. And again, this would make a fabulous second lounge, loads of window, loads of views out to the garden, natural light coming through here as well and again just a really lovely finish here because of course you've got that natural stone cladding in this part of the house as well. Now if this wasn't enough space for you to enjoy there's an additional room here on the right hand side again glass doors separating us from that point of view you've got glass all the way around lovely woodwork here for this beam work on this pergola tongue and groove you do have views to Mount Eskenfraga. Don't forget you're in Villa Verde now and you can walk down to the restaurants down by the church square there. Again, a very useful space. It would make a really lovely office space as well. And don't forget though, you can actually walk out here, look, to that morning terrace. 
enjoy a little bit of warm winter sunshine and you're out back to the swimming pool of course okay well i've just come back inside and coming up the stairs here lovely landing as you can see here mirror finishes there look at that as a window the views out from here from the landing i don't know if you can see on the video but i can see the atlantic ocean from here and to the right some of those beautiful mountains as well just coming up to this master bedroom on this side look it's a huge space really really open there's the light electric points your headboard would go here there is no bed here currently as you can see just a really nice open space here on the left hand side look at this a romeo and juliet balcony and where does it look well it looks out towards lanzarote in the distance there and across the rooftops of villa verde to the atlantic ocean in terms of the roof line of your villa well look as i said beautiful terracotta tiles all the way through coming back into this room you'll notice here there is actually an ensuite now this is quite a modern ensuite you can see it's completely been reformed beautiful tile work ceiling to floor recess lighting there as well and on the right hand side here is a cascade shower just leaving the master bedroom then literally across the landing there is a rooftop terrace as well look at this just to give you some orientation just looking over and back down to the rear garden look absolutely beautiful across your neighbors very private because their property is facing the other way actually loads of space up here and just walking to the front to your own front carport just in terms of a view that is there Mount Escanfraga on the right hand side and of course those beautiful mountain tops down to the Atlantic Ocean across the rooftop terraces you can actually see parts of Coral Echo and Lanzarote from here as well well there you go I hope that was a helpful virtual tour it's absolutely stunning beautiful uh, villa here in Villa Verde just a couple of points it's on two floors obviously master bedroom there three bedrooms two bathrooms really it's the charm of this property it's layout the, uh, the roof tiles the materials that they use to finish and of course these gorgeous gardens very rarely do you get such a mature beautiful garden here it is Villa Verde of course which is well known for its verdant green planting uh, but this garden in particular absolutely gorgeous and you can see on a day like today in Fuerteventura the sunshine that we have uh, what a lovely space this is to come out and to uh, enjoy gorgeous swimming pool here look and if you really want to in the winter if it's cold enough you've actually got that hot tub as well all the details as always are on Goldacre Estates Dot com. Make sure you go there for the price. This is a unique villa in a unique area, highly, highly sought after. So please go and have a look at that now. Uh, and of course, if you haven't already got the mobile property app, you can download it now using the QR code. I hope that was helpful and we look forward to seeing you soon.